Hey guys, I am here with my five week pregnancy update. I am five weeks and two days pregnant today. Um, that's 243 days to go. Wow, that's that's a long time. You know, um, hopefully this pregnancy goes by fast, but I doubt it because pregnancies don't go by fast. Especially your last trimester, so, you know. But hey, I'm going to enjoy being pregnant. This may well be my last child, so we'll see. Um, I'm at work on my lunch break, so I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible. I got some notes, so because I can't remember anything, so I have to write everything down. Okay, five weeks, two days prego. The baby weighs... Um, 0 0.04 ounces and the baby is 0.13 inches long the baby is the size of an apple seed so the baby's like that big or something like that real tiny um his organs major organs are forming the um the heart the stomach the liver the kidneys and the systems are forming the digestive system the circulatory system the nervous system um, the amniotic sac and the placenta are also forming which is great um, symptoms I've been feeling pregnant I've been feeling quite pregnant um, nothing severe as of yet um, but my symptoms are definitely increasing with intensity as time goes on, um, I'm fatigued. I've been taking naps every single day. Like, sometimes I don't even, my intention isn't to take a nap. I'll just want to lay down and watch a movie. But I always end up falling asleep, like passing out. My fiance is like, you passed out for like three hours. Like, I'll be, I'll be dead to the world. Like, just dead to the world. And I'm just like, oh, it's this baby, this baby. So fatigue is definitely one of the main symptoms. Mount nausea, um, nothing severe. I worked out yesterday and I threw up a little bit. So I, I guess I kind of uh, overdid it a little bit. I don't know. Um, I get out of breath very easily now. I didn't at first because I, I work out all the time. So my stamina is up. But now, like, I don't really have that much stamina anymore. Like, I'm just, I got out of breath so fast. Um breast tenderness my breasts are killing me like right now they're throbbing they are throbbing and like my nipples oh my god this might be tmi but hey this is a pregnancy vlog so <laughs> my nipples hurt so bad like so bad even if like my if i have like a certain type of shirt on and i don't have a bra on like maybe at night usually at night when i'm going to bed and if it brushes up against my nipple to like the wrong way, it hurts so bad. And my fiance cannot touch them. He, I, I've banned him from my breast completely. Uh, <laughs> he teases me and he like pretends like he's gonna touch them, like he attempts to touch them. And I scream because I know it's gonna hurt. And he just laughs at me because he thinks it's funny. It's not. They hurt. Anyway, um, so I have breast tenderness, extreme breast tenderness, bloated. Um, there's going to be another video where I do my belly shots. And I know some people might say, oh, that's just fat. But yeah, yeah, I don't have a flat stomach. You know, I've lost 70 pounds, but my stomach is still um, it's not flat. So I do have a stomach still. But when you're pregnant, your baby makes you bloated. So... It's like you look like you're, you know, you're either pushing out your stomach or you have a baby bump, but it's just bloat. So, and my, my, um, my, um, baby bump, uh, photos that I'm going to uh, share with my next video that I do along with this one, kind of like a part two, it's going to look like I'm pushing my belly out or I'm just fat, but I'm really, really bloated, really bloated. Um, I'm very gassy, very gassy very gassy it's nasty <laughs> it is nasty but yeah that it comes with the territory um increased appetite i have i'm not eating a lot because you don't want to do that because it's too early for that but 
I feel the hunger more than usual. Like, if I'm hungry, I have to eat something. If not, I'll get a little nauseated. So I have an increased appetite. Thirsty. I'm always thirsty. I'm always drinking water. Mood swings. Hey, you know, we all, we all know we're going to have mood swings. You know, I'm up, I'm down, I'm all over the place. So, yeah. Increased urination. Nothing like every 20 minutes or nothing like that, but... There's, I've noticed definitely an increase in my uh, urination. Okay, cravings. I've been craving chocolate. I've been craving Chinese food, which, you know, my, my cravings are being conquered thanks to my dear, dear hubby. He's taking care of my cravings for me. Um, more salty foods. And I've craving fruit. I always crave fruit when I'm pregnant. But more salty foods, more salty foods than anything, than, than sweets. I, I I crave chocolate, though. Um, My vagina? My vagina is turning on me, guys. My vagina is definitely turning on me. Um, But, you know, I'm used to this because when I was pregnant with my son, it did the same thing. Sex has become painful. I guess because when you're pregnant, your walls swell up and it gets extra, extra tight. I don't know, but I mean, and I'm always well lubricated. That's not a problem. It's just, it's still going to hurt. It's still going to hurt. I can pour buckets of KY jelly down there. It's still going to hurt afterwards. It hurts. Like, I hate it. I don't get that. I'm going to ask my doctor why this keeps happening to me when I'm pregnant I don't like it. It messes up my sex life, you know? <laughs> anyway, so that's happening. Um, vitamins this week. I'm taking uh, my folic acid, 800 milligrams of folic acid, omega krill oil with, um, yeah, omega krill oil, um, my prenatal vitamins, vitamin D, and calcium. Um, I, I was taking vitamin B12, but... I've come to realize that I started itching from taking vitamin B12. Like, when I started taking this maybe a month or two ago, I started itching, but I didn't realize that's what was making me itch, you know? And then my fiancé was like, maybe it is the B12 that's making you itch, because I looked it up and it said that is a side effect of vitamin B12. So I stopped taking it this week, and the itching has subsided. So I think that's why I was itching, so... B12 is very good for you, but I'm not going to take it because it makes me itch, like, terribly. My legs were, like, scabbed up and had, like, scratches and nicks on them from me scratching them. So, I'm not going to take that again. I'm done with the B12. Um, my first prenatal appointment is on Monday, and I will be five weeks and five days. Yay! Okay, names. Yes, I've already picked out names. Why not? We want to think positive, even though, you know, I have had a miscarriage and a chemical pregnancy, but I'm not going to sit around and, you know, thinking, oh, well, I'm not going to do this and that because I could have a miscarriage. I'm going to think positive. My baby is fine and I'm going to have a normal, healthy delivery. Um, for a boy, I picked out Jacob Nehemiah. And um, for a girl, I like Jasmine Nevea. Um... I like the J-N concept because my other two kids, they have J-N names. My son's name is Joaquin Nazir, and my daughter's name is Jazar Nasira. So, you know, I want to stay with that. My my kids' names are unique. They're strong. They're different, and I love them. Um, Jacob is not a very unique name, but it's biblical. I love that name, and I'm going to spell it different, though. I, I spell my kids' name strange, so... I'm going to spell it J-A-I apostrophe K-O-B, Jacob, okay? Jasmine, I'm going to spell J-A-Z apostrophe M-Y-N. So, I really don't think it's a girl. I think I'm going to have a boy because that's what I want. <laughs> so, we're going to hope for a boy. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and I will be doing the Intelligender test. I'm going to buy one of those probably next month or so. When I'm about 10 weeks, 10 to 12 weeks, I just want to do it. I'm, I'm going to film it. I'm going to put it on YouTube so you guys can see it. I think it'll be fun. I'm not taking it too seriously because I really don't, you know, it's not 100%. You know, it's just a P-test. 
And that can't predict your baby's gender. I doubt it. Only an ultrasound can. And even those aren't always accurate. So, you know, that's what I'm going to be doing. I think it'll be fun. And um, I think I've pretty much covered everything. Um, I'm feeling pregnant. and But I'm feeling good, though. I'm enjoying it. I like feeling pregnant because... It lets me know that the pregnancy is good. So, you know, I'm praying that the Lord keeps my little being safe while it's in my uterus. And um, I'm excited, guys. I'm really, really excited about this pregnancy. So I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy my, um, my hubby spoiling me. And I'm just taking it all in. So I'm excited about this. All right. That's about it for now. Um, part two will be a belly shot and, you know, fetal pictures and all that good stuff. All right, guys, I'm out. Deuces.